Snapmaker 10 Watt High Power Laser Module features high energy density, which makes it powerful and efficient enough to engrave and cut a much wider variety of materials. There are two ways for the 10 Watt Laser Module to define its work area the camera capture method, and the work origin method. This video is going to show you how to use the module based on the work origin method by engraving on an anodized aluminum plate. This video will cover four steps, including upgrade the firmware, calibration, generate G-code, and start engraving or cutting. Before starting, you need to prepare the following tools and materials. Laser safety goggles, six M4 by eight screws, a screwdriver with the H2.5 bit, a calibration card or a piece of A4 paper, a piece of blank A4 paper, the provided calibration target, and the anodized aluminum plate, as well as tools that come with the Snapmaker 2.0 machine, including 14 M4 by 10 hex socket head screws, silicone plugs, and a cable holder. Make sure the machine is powered off and then install the laser engraving and cutting platform and the laser module on the machine. First, put the laser engraving and cutting platform pieces in the right order on the machine and fasten them with 14 M4 by 10 hex socket head screws. Second, attach the laser module to the slider on the X axis with four M4 by eight screws and connect the laser module to the tool head port on the controller. Third, attach the cable holder to the Z-axis with two M4 by eight screws, and then lock the tool head cable into place. Note that the 10 watt laser module is a class four laser product. You should always use it together with the Snapmaker enclosure. Now, let's turn on the machine and update the firmware. Firmware of version 1.9.0 or later can be upgraded to version 1.14.0 or later on the touchscreen via Wi-Fi. Go to Settings, select Firmware Update, check for updates, update now. If it is your first time to use the 10 watt laser module, safety notes will pop up on the touchscreen. Read them and check the box and then tap Get Started. The machine will automatically enter the guide process. The guide will only appear once. If you need it again, swipe left on the home page of the touchscreen. Select Settings, Guide. Now, let's follow the guide to calibrate the laser module. First, calibrate tool head focus. Tap Start, going home on the touchscreen. The laser module will go to its home position and then automatically move to the central position above the platform. Put the calibration card or the A4 paper on the platform. Lower the laser module gradually until you feel slight resistance when you pull out the calibration card, and it should be wrinkled when you push it forward. Tap Next to proceed to the thickness measurement calibration. Fix the calibration target to the center of the platform and tap Start. Make sure the red dot falls on the calibration target. Tap Capture. The machine will automatically capture the first and second calibration points to calibrate the thickness measurement system. Last, let's go on with camera calibration. Remove the calibration target and fix a piece of blank A4 paper to the center of the platform. Tap Next, put on the laser safety goggles, and tap Start. The machine will cut a square on the paper and use it to calibrate the camera. Note that you need to recalibrate the thickness measurement system every time you switch to the 10 watt laser module from other tool heads. Swipe left on the home page of the touchscreen, select settings, 10 watt laser, and then you can select the proper calibration as needed. Next, we will use the Snapmaker Luban to generate G-code. Download the latest Luban from Snapmaker's official website to upgrade it to version 4.1.0 or above. Open Luban on your computer, select language, the machine model, and the type of the laser tool head through the configuration wizard. You can also go to Settings, Machine Settings on the menu bar to make changes. Make sure that your computer and machine are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, and then go to Workspace. Click Wi-Fi under Connection. Refresh the device list. 
Select your machine from the drop-down list and click Connect. A notification will pop up on the touchscreen. Tap Yes, the computer will be connected to the machine. In Luban, click back on the top left corner to go back to the home page. Select Laser, 3-axis to enter the Laser G-Code Generator. A Job Setup window will pop up first. Input the actual size of the engraving material and select the desired work origin, such as the commonly used center. Next, go to the left toolbar to upload the object file. If the object size exceeds the work size, you need to click Scale to fit the work size. Click to select the object. You can adjust it directly with your mouse or set the size, orientation, and position precisely in the edit panel. As for processing mode, Luban provides four options. Black and white, grayscale, and halftone are mainly used for engraving while Vector can be used for both engraving and cutting. Here, we choose Vector for engraving on the anodized aluminum material. Click Next. Create Tool Path. You can select the material you use and its processing method in the preset list to get a set of recommended parameters. Or, you can configure work parameters on yourself. When the setup is finished, click Save, Generate G-Code, and Preview. Luban also provides built-in case library to help you get started quickly. Find the case library on the home page or enter the laser G-code generator, skip job setup, and click File, Case Library to choose the proper case. The built-in cases all come with preset parameters, so you can skip to click Generate G-code and preview. When confirmed, click Export, Load G-code to Workspace. On the G-code file section, Click Send to Device and receive the file on the touchscreen. Disconnect the machine from your computer. Tap Files on the touchscreen. Select Local. Find and select your G-Code file. If you want to use a USB flash drive to transfer files, generate G-Code first, export G-Code to File, and then copy the exported file to your USB flash drive. Disconnect the machine from your computer and plug in your USB flash drive to the controller of the machine. Tap Files on the touchscreen. Select USB. Find and select your G-Code file. Now it's time to laser engrave or cut. Use the silicone plugs or other tools to fix the anodized aluminum plate to the center of the platform. Tap Ready on the touchscreen to choose Mode. Choose Auto Mode and follow the instructions. The machine will automatically measure the thickness of the material and perform autofocus. But thickness measurement may fail if the material is over 50 millimeters thick, or its texture is transparent, or its surface is glossy or specular, or if it's red or black. In such cases, you need to choose manual mode. Put the calibration card or the A4 paper in between the laser module and the material. Lower the laser module gradually until you feel slight resistance when you pull out the calibration card, and it should be wrinkled when you push it forward. When finished, let's set the work origin. The relationship between the work origin and the processing area of the machine is equivalent to the relationship between the work origin and the object in Luban. Setting the work origin is actually defining the processing area for the machine. Before you set the work origin, Make sure that all the operators and bystanders have correctly put on laser safety goggles. Tap Next. Use the control panel to move the laser beam to where you want to set as the work origin. Tap Set Work Origin and run Boundary to check the engraving boundary. Make sure the work origin is proper and the enclosure is closed. And then tap Next to start laser engraving or cutting. During the engraving or cutting process, you can still change laser power and work speed by swiping left on the touchscreen. When you finish, open the enclosure and take out the finished work. That's all for this video. To learn about the camera capture method, please continue to watch our video tutorial, How to Use the 10-Watt Laser Module via Camera Capture. Thank you for watching.